Hello everyone and <clears throat> sorry, welcome to my channel. Sorry, I know I look a mess but I do get a lot of mess. By the way, I do beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos and I just wanted to do a video right from the beginning because I do get a lot of uh, messages sometimes, not a lot, just a few, just to say what kind of products do you use and the base I've usually been keeping the same and to be honest, I've Apart from the, I have this first time putting makeup on, I've had another couple of days where I haven't really put it on. And I thought maybe, you know, when you just want a bit of a pick me up and I know it does make me feel better from when I've said before. So I've always really loved like a bold lip. Now I don't always do this look and I don't usually ever have my hair like this either, but I thought I'm not going anywhere. Let's give it a go. So what are you, oh, and I've also got my tea. If the door opens, that means bells come from somewhere. That's my cat. Okay, so, and I also thought it's a really good way to use some of the makeup because I know I've been ordering more and I've just not even bothered to use it. So first I use the L'Oreal Triple Active Moisturiser and I don't usually buy expensive moisturisers. They do, the, they, they, these do the job absolutely fine so I just moisturize this and you know I also like you know when someone's doing a YouTube video like this I love how the look comes together especially when you know they put the foundation on the eyeshadow I really like that so there we go by the way Bell nearly scratched my eye out by a millimetre from my eyeball the other day. I was absolutely petrified. I mean, she really upset me. Um, she was sitting on a cat tree. I don't know whether anybody else has had experiences like that. Please do let me know. Absolutely terrified me. Oh, I like to think she didn't do it purposely. Okay, so... It's good just to leave this sometimes for like a minute or so to really let it sink in. So, that's the moisturiser. Next, this isn't really my favourite foundation. It's a Revlon one, I actually bought it by mistake. And I thought, well, while I'm at home, it makes me feel better to put a bit of makeup on, just use it up. I find it a bit too light for me, really, but... So, I'll put it on. I also want to do a video at some point of some different brushes that I've used, that I've bought, sorry, and see how they fare, like a um, high street one and like a, a slightly high end one. Because I do, I'm a bit, I've got a bit of a thing about makeup brushes at the moment. So... I hope everyone's doing okay. I've had my down days, as you know. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm usually always putting up positive quotes and things like that. These are going to come off later. I'm not going to be keeping them on. I always find, you know, when I see other people with their makeup on, I don't know whether they must put loads more on. Because I only, I don't like it to look all cakey. But maybe it's just sunk into this. So I'll just put a little bit more on. It always reminds me of, you know, when you're painting on a wall. It's like putting another coat of paint on. Probably not the best analogy, but that's what it reminds me of. Okay, I think that's okay. I hope everyone's okay. Um, it's really hard to get motivated as well. I know that's been a bit of an issue. But today, it's Sunday morning, and I thought, no. More than anything, I love reading your messages. Okay, I think that's okay. I wanted to do it right from the beginning today, so you can see exactly what I put on. Okay, 
Now, I have to also remember what I put in next. Oh. Do I want to? Yeah, I will put eyeliner on. Shall I put? Yeah, I will put eyeliner on. I usually put eyeliner on before the concealer because otherwise, as you can see, you know, when you're touching this bit here under the eye, it messes it up. Just a little bit of eyeliner. There we go. Then, now the concealer is just this collections one. It's about three pounds. But do you know what? It does the job really, really well. anybody else have really quite dark under eyes? I know I've always had them. So, and I have actually been trying to drink a lot more water, you know, but I'll do a little separate video on that if anybody wants, like how, because I've changed some of my habits quite a bit. Okay, then I think I might try and get a brush to do this section. I also put a little bit on the top because I find it helps to put um, the eyeshadow. It helps keep the eyeshadow in place a lot more. It gives it like a base. Okay. I'm trying to remember in my head how I do it when I put my makeup on. Okay, now I think after this, yes. I usually set it, I still haven't finished this. It's Primark um, powder. I've got about that much left. And then, and you know what? It actually does the job absolutely fine. Now, I have got some really nice eyebrow products, really, which I should really use, but you, I just never get around to it. I'm, I've just been using a black eyeshadow um, just to spruce up my brows, because as you can see, I don't have any. Eyebrows is the one thing I do kind of struggle how to do. And I even considered, you know, the um, tattoo, the eyebrow tattoos. I've seen some people have some really nice eyebrows. But do you know what scares me? If they mess that up, you're screwed. I mean, can you imagine if they made a mess of that and you constantly looked like that or something? That's what scares me. So I just think, just keep it safe. Keep it safe. I know it's not ideal, but they the ones that I have seen look whoops look really really nice. I know that there's a, a starting point and a middle and end and everything. The mirror is quite far as well. Okay, now what I do next, I want to keep the eyeshadow quite subtle because I want to do the bold lip. And what I usually do, I put like a re, I'm using the Rimmel, oh, Rimmel palette there, a light colour all the way at the bottom because that I find helps you blend the eyeshadow. I'm only going to put a very, very light colour on anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's we'll just go mm. we'll just go for a very I think I'll go for like one of these light ones here. I might go for the middle one there. Just to keep it really pale. Okay. 
here and it just makes you feel so much better and of course you know because I had it done my hair and colouring hair oh that is such a chore that's another reason why I did a video today because I just did my hair yesterday You can't really see, but that, that's fine. Okay, next what I do is blush, bronzer. Because I find, you know, if you do your mascara, sometimes it, it goes on the brush. Okay, so same one, the Rosie Huntington Lightning Needle. Let's hope, and yes, I do have loads more. I will start using them. Okay. I can already see life coming into me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Then what I do is highlight a bit of highlight as well this is just the Mary Lou one nothing fancy okay now I do like have I got my brush in here no, the little corners because they really do help Make your eyes just not look so sunken in, if that makes sense. But I've seen some really not, I've had a great clear out, but then I all, and then I have all this space and I think, ooh, let's get some more stuff. And I've seen some lovely stuff in Zara. But if there's a really nice sage cardigan that I like, but I think it's getting sold out. Nearly done. And mascara. Okay. Now the lipstick I'm going to go for is a L'Oreal and it's shade number 634. So. I always struggle with a nice red. So I thought I'd go with a brown. There we go. I don't know whether this style, this hairstyle actually suits me, but I thought this is, I've got nothing to lose. I'm just sitting at home. So this is the look. I really hope you've enjoyed this little video, this little catch up video. Um, I hope you're having a great Sunday. I'll upload today just so I can see what everybody's doing, what you've been up to. And apart from that, do let me know if you've got any other ideas, anything you want me to do, any other kind of different makeup looks. I'd love to have a bit of an experiment. And that is it. Lots and lots of love. Bye.